With first quarter over and spring upon us, monster trucks move from the tight confines of arenas to the wide open spaces of fairgrounds and speedways. The first outdoor show of the season for the Monster X Tour is also the first for TMB TV's original series as the series invades Chico, California's Silver Dollar Speedway. After a great first quarter of indoor action, Monster X Tour officials are pulling out all the stops as the tour moves outdoors, constructing a wild over-under figure eight race course. Unlike other over-under courses that minimize the likelihood of one truck actually passing over the other, this course practically guarantees it. This will no doubt lead to some exciting but potentially dangerous moments in racing this weekend. One of first quarter's biggest stories continues with a new angle as Bill Payne gets the chance to see what his all-new rock star is really capable of in the expanse of the Silver Dollar Speedway infield. No doubt the breakout superstar of 2011, Donald Epidendio has risen his game to an all-new level in Titan. He'll look to continue his streak of impressive performances in what will no doubt be a knockdown dragout showdown with Bill Payne this weekend. Coming off a high-profile involvement with Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Awards, Kelvin Raymer will show what one of the most unique trucks in the industry is capable of this weekend in the beautiful Time Flies machine. The Living the Dream racing team will also break in a new driver as local circle track racer TJ Etchison climbs behind the wheel of Fired Up for the very first time here in Chico. Garrett Liddell celebrates the anniversary of his first time behind the wheel of a monster truck after making his debut in the California Kid here in Chico one year ago. One of monster truck's most impressive young talents will look to show how far he's come in only one year of driving. There's no shortage of great storylines coming up in this episode of TMB TV's original series presented by E3 Spark Plugs. All the action of monster truck figure eight racing, wheelie and freestyle competitions is coming your way right now. One of the big features of this weekend's Monster X Tour event here in Chico, California is the racing course that they have built here in the infield of the Silver Dollar Speedway. It's going to be one of the wildest things that we've ever had a chance to see here on TMB TV before. It kind of harkens back to the days of the MLMT course, uh, similar to the one in Nashville where they had the over-under opportunity built into the race course. But this one is a figure eight, and unlike the other courses that have built in the past, they're kind of built with the idea that, you know, there's the possibility of two trucks jumping jumping over each other, but it's not really that likely unless one was to get pretty far behind. This weekend, it's almost a certainty, and we're gonna show you the course right now. One truck will start back here behind the main ramp on that starting line. When the green flag waves, they're going to be up and over this massive jump in behind us. And they're going to have to be hard on the gas to clear it as they go up and over and down onto the landing ramp. Then it's down into turn one out around the tire and the turning poles. They come back around through the middle and then here out around the light pole and back through the center and up over the final jump. And those two hits is all it is. And one truck is going to start exactly on the opposite side, starting with the under part first, coming out around and then going up over the center. It's no doubt going to be wild, and with this lineup of trucks, every one of these guys is a hard charger, and they're excited about the course here tonight and having the chance to possibly jump over one another while racing. You know, one of our favorite parts of TMB TV is always bringing you the personalities that we haven't had a chance to to talk to on the Monster Blog before. And we've got here Kelvin Raymer with Living the Dream Racing. You know, Kelvin, it's great to have you on here finally. We don't get out west very often. And uh, to see time flies and fired up this weekend, well, we've been pretty fired up about that. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you got started in the industry. You know, I started hanging around uh, Sam Sturgis and a lot of the other guys and just helping out and learning and uh, driving a ride truck for those guys. and. Uh, then I started gathering parts to build my own truck, and then I ran their race trucks and started learning. And from the first part I bought till the uh, last till I drove it was seven years. So it was a long-term dream that we slowly worked on. Now talk to us about uh, Time Flies especially here. I mean, this is one of the, the most beautiful pieces that's been built in recent years. It's got such a cool concept. I mean, just tell us how the idea for this truck came about and uh, you know a little bit about the truck itself. 
you know, our first truck's more of a freestyle truck for wheelies, and I wanted something that'd race well and get center of gravity down, something I can cross cut and go sideways and slide and drift without worrying about tipping over. And when we thought about that, we I like the old body styles, and I wanted a body with no fenders that I could actually stick down between the tires and get the whole center of gravity down lower. You know, the motors between the two trucks, the one sits 18 inches lower in the chassis than the other truck, and then having the body sits lower, then we can get our whole cage down even lower. So we can actually come off a jump, turn our wheels right away, and not worry about rolling. Well, now talk to us a little bit, too, about uh, your team concept. I mean, it's called Living the Dream Racing, and, and I haven't known you a little bit over the years. You always can tell that you guys are just really enjoying this and really appreciate how neat it is to be in monster trucks. You know, the way I drive, I found that you can't make a living doing it. So it's something that we do as a family that we just really enjoy. We do a lot of traveling. Uh, we go to Carlsbad Caverns, the Grand Canyon. Uh, we try to add something extra for the family. You know, um, we've done the Lewis and Clark Trail when the kids are studying that in school. You know, bring a little education and fun into it at the same time. So it's, it's a family adventure every time we go out. Okay, now talk to us too. You, you just had a real cool opportunity here a couple weeks back. Uh, the Kids' Choice Awards, they asked you guys to come in and do some neat stuff. Just tell us about that whole experience in general and what, what maybe was the coolest thing about it. You know, it, it was a three month long thing and we started out with the promos and uh, being able to set up the stuff going up in the desert and driving around and uh, hitting K-rails and just hot rod through the desert. And then we set up a big jump in the desert and put the truck 45 feet in the air. and. Then uh, we went to Disney Park, which is a film place where there's a bunch of houses, and we were able to jump and land on a golf cart and go through garbage cans and all kinds of fun stuff. And the whole adventure was a lot of fun. All the different things we got to do, the different people we got to meet, and it just, it was fun to be able to go out. And they were after precise driving, landing and stopping on the golf cart. Uh, the last jump we did, we jumped a blimp. And we landed in a uh, pond of slime that's 21 feet wide and 48 feet long. And we did it in 30 mile an hour side winds. You know, we actually had to aim two feet over to miss the, like we we're going to miss the pit and it blew us right back into it. You know, and the, the whole goal there wasn't to go as big or as far as we could go, but to land in the beginning of the pond and create the biggest splash we could. You know, and just what they're after and what we did, just a lot of fun. You know, then uh, the, the day of the uh, Kids' Choice Awards, we uh, brought in a couple limos, they shut down Figueroa, and we smashed a couple limos. Uh, it's just a lot of fun, and it's got to be the most expensive thing I've ever crushed, a pair of late model limos. <laughs> Well, you know, that kind of brings us to the current. I mean, that being such a neat experience, a neat experience here this weekend in Chico, uh, they set up a wild race course here, and we know there's going to be some interesting moments on it. Just give us a few thoughts on that race course, what it's going to take to win here this weekend. You know, being a figure eight, we're both starting back probably 100 feet from the, the jump, and the concept is, is we're going to jump. One guy will go under, one guy will go over. And uh, if you're not on it, you're going to hit the car that's underneath, the truck underneath you. So you got to go hard, but you can't go so hard that you can't turn. So if you go too wide, then you're slow. So it's a matter of finding that happy medium of clearing the truck you're going over, but being slow enough that you can make the turn when you land. So whoever can figure that out, it's going to be the one that wins. Well, fans, great interview here with Kelvin Raymer. It's great to be here in California with him, and you're going to get to see what time flies and fired up are all about here this weekend.